Well, hello there, Aries. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries for the week of August 15th. If this one doesn't resonate so much, Aries, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. We're looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to be pulling cards for your person and clarifying everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe. I post weekly. If you want your own private reading, you can find that down below in the description box. My least expensive is $20. If you want the extended, click the join button. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. So looking at the overall energy here, I would say with the five of wands in reverse, you may be ending a conflict or a fight with someone. Uh, there could have been a breakup here, just a nasty fight. There also may have been a difference of opinion. The fives are conflict cards. Uh, maybe you and this person haven't necessarily been on the same page. Sometimes it's about internal conflict, like someone not knowing what they want here. So this is a reading for the collective. Just interpret this as it makes sense to your situation. We have the Three of Pentacles. It's a dating and a friendship card. This is also a card about the two of you working together, building something together, giving your time, your effort, your energy, building a connection here. We have healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. And to me, this feels like a, a happy, healthy choice for your relationship, maybe even for yourself, for your person as well. We've got the star major for Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. I will say that the star does have some healing vibes. Uh, this is also a card about being wishful, being hopeful, optimistic. So it's great energy. And it's showing up next to the death card, major for Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. But Scorpio is change here, the death card. It's change. It's new opportunities. It's a rebirth here. And we've got the Twin Flames card, yin and yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. If you don't believe in Twin Flames, don't worry about it. This could just be a very strong connection between the two of you. To me, this looks like a turning point in this connection, that things are going to get a lot deeper, um, that maybe you're healing this connection or healing yourself or your person is doing some healing here. All right, let's delve into their energy and see what we see. All right, Aries, here's what we have so far. The Six of Pentacles, that is someone giving to a connection. Time, energy, effort, valuing the connection, valuing you. They're investing in you, investing in this connection. So let's see what's going on between the two of you here. This is the Tarot de la Nui on the table. You can find a link to it down below. Three of Swords in reverse. I will also be using the, um, the modern witch tarot to clarify here in a second. So Three of Swords in reverse. This is ending a fight, ending a breakup, healing your heart, healing their heart here. There's a healing vibe here and like a connection that's deepening is what seems to be going on here. Yes, we've got the world. This is major arcana for Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. The world is leveling up. It's a learning lessons, ending a cycle. That is number 21. It's the last card in... Uh, the, the major arcana. So it represents an entire cycle ending. Learning, growing, changing here. So I would say that this connection is going to be getting even deeper here. That this person's falling in love, you're falling in love. And there's stability, I think, showing up here with these pinnacles. All right. That's better. We've got some space. So what is going on with this person, with this connection? I 
would say with the Six of Pentacles, they may have realized how valuable this is. Yeah. All right, we've got the Empress showing up here, and it showed up along with the Lovers and the Page of Swords. All right, so the Page of Swords is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. It's possible that this is an air sign. Page of Swords is also something of a scholar, a student. It's about learning, uh, research, curiosity here. I do think that maybe this person has figured some stuff out along with the world. It's almost like I've learned some lessons. I've figured out that maybe this connection is what I want, um, that this connection is something valuable. It's something I invest in. We have the Empress major for both Taurus and Libra. She's the divine feminine, the wife, the mother. She's about nurturing a connection, giving to it, uh, seeing it develop. I almost think of the Empress as like I'm giving birth to something. Earlier you had the death card. There is a death and rebirth in this relationship. There's a brand new beginning here. It's giving birth to something. We have the lover's major arcana for Gemini. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, particularly in light of that page of swords. The lovers is, uh, it's meeting your other half. It's a soul tie, a soulmate, a very deep connection between the two of you. You could be falling very deeply in love with this person and vice versa here. I just think that there's a lot of growth, development, healing. Everything here looks really fantastic. So let's clarify this and see what's up. All right, so... Stay tuned to the end. I'm going to pull a card for how this person feels about you. But for right now, let's do... All right. Let's do some clarification here. What is going on with this person? What's going on with this situation? Okay. Got the Four of Swords. Again, a healing card. So for some of you, maybe this person was wounded somehow, or there was a big fight here, or a lot of like drama in this relationship. There's something that's healing and kind of evolving here. There's a rebirth. Four of Swords can mean like, I need a break. I'm going to collect my thoughts. I'm going to figure something out. You may have had a break or a breakup with this person. What is going on here? Mm, that's way too many. Okay. Okay. We've got the death card. Big changes. A rebirth here. A renaissance in this connection. Um, it's going to be an intense connection. There's a lot of major arcana showing up here. There's big shifts of energy. The two of you could be soulmates. You could have like your perfect person here. You'll know it or, or not if this is your reading. But dang. Oh my God. We've got the lovers, <laughs> Major Arcana, or Gemini. This is your person. If this is your reading, this is your person. And I think you already know that. Wow. All right. Maybe this is happening in divine timing. It was meant to. This is a deep, very intense connection, like a once in a lifetime kind of connection. Six of Wands is a victory card. This is a jackpot. This is meeting the one here. And we got the two of cups. Of course we do. Um, I think that the two of you have maybe gone through a rough patch. I think that this connection is healing and expanding here. I think it was meant to be. Um, they're, they're deeply in love with you. You're deeply in love with them. What else is there to say? I mean, this is intense. Um, let's do how they currently feel about you. Okay, so how does this person 
feel about you. <laughs> okay. Well, we have the Tower. That is Major Arcana for Scorpio. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Scorpio just by the fact of what showed up here. Um, you have a lot of Scorpio energy, and we have the Four of Cups in reverse. Four of Shells in this deck. They don't want to miss out on this opportunity with the Four of Cups in reverse. They know what they want. They're in alignment. I do think there was a misalignment earlier or some issues here. That is no longer the case. This is evolving. The Tower is destruction for the sake of creation. There is before you and then there is after you. I think that there is like a rebirth or a renaissance. That term, for whatever reason, is popping into my head in this connection. It was always meant to evolve like this. So this is intense. I think this is a deep, deep, deep connection between the two of you. All right. Um, if you would like your own private reading, you can find all of that info down below in the description box. My least expensive is 20. If you would like the extended, we're going to delve into this person's feelings, their intentions, the advice. Please click the join button and bless it be.